This is the Grand Kai, and I want to say, welcome to the All Seas Collectors Edition Podcast. The podcast to get the news on coins, cards, comics, and figures. Hey everybody, welcome to the All Seas Collectors Edition Podcast. I am James, your host, with my co-host Trish. Hello. Chris the Beard Packer. Greetings. AJ. What's going on? And Kim behind the camera? <laughs> right on. And we have Donald as our guest this week. One of the super collectors we asked to come on the show, and I'm excited to have him. Very proud of his collection, and he brought it with him to show us a couple pieces. Right yeah. on. Yeah. Super excited. <laughs> <And> yeah. <laughs> First, I want to tell us our announcer of the silver we gave away this week for uh, liking, commenting, and sharing our uh, podcast. Please continue to do so. We'll have a new guest, or a new gift, I'm sorry, to give away in this month, and we'll uh, talk about that next but this winner was Josh Regan. Josh, congratulations. Woo-hoo! Go Hooray! by the shop, see me. I got two ounces of silver for you, brother. Thanks for uh, commenting and always watching, my friend, and listening. AJ, why don't you talk about uh, what we're going to give away this following month? All right. Me? I've got two boxes here of the Dragon Ball Super trading card game. We're going to be doing two full boxes to one winner this time. We're really excited about the Dragon Ball Super trading card game. It is a hot new game. It's been breaking out about the last two years. We've got a great crowd literally playing right now next door during Sunday tournaments. So we're thinking we want to get some more players into this. We've been doing Learn to Play events for the last week here. We're doing them all the way through the end of uh, December every Saturday. We have one scheduled for Dragon Ball. But really, even if it's the Pokemon Learn to Play Day, the Magic Learn to Play Day, you can come in and learn any of these games. Our guys are on hand to teach you the games if you guys want to come in and learn them. So as part of that, we're going to try to get some people into Dragon Ball. We have two full boxes of Dragon Ball Super here that we're going to be giving away to one winner. To get this, what you have to do, go ahead and like us on Podbean, uh, Podbean, Apple iTunes, Google Play, and Spotify. Go ahead and like and give comments there to get your names entered. Or on Facebook, comment and share. Key thing there, if you aren't sharing on Facebook, you're not getting those entries this month. Same thing with YouTube, right, basically? Yep. So on YouTube, you got to go ahead and comment and give us a little like on the video, and we can see those there, and we can get you the entries. Yep. And we're live from Facebook, or Facebook and YouTube today. Ooh. Thanks for watching, everybody. If you're out there, God, give us a comment. You know, get in this entry to win like Josh did. Absolutely. So have a chance. You're going to win possibly two full boxes of Dragon Ball Super. And if you want to turn those into decks and learn how to play the game, come on down to see us at the game you're in, and we're going to get you hooked up. Bandai, great uh, support for this game. Awesome. We always have a lot of good promos, a lot of good giveaways when you come play tournaments, and uh, they're great support of the game that they created. Yep, and we're all about building the communities down here. If you guys are just out there as Dragon Ball fans and want to learn about the card game, come on in. We've got yeah. lots of cheap cards. We can get you hooked up. And it's one of those games that we're really pushing. we got a handful of new games you might not even know about. Dragon Ball, we're also doing Final Fantasy Learn to Play Days, and we're doing Transformers trading card games. So if you guys didn't know those were out there, we've got them next door and come out and learn these games. Also, Bandai came out with a Godzilla game. Uh, four decks come in yep. one build uh, set. You can yeah, play, like sit down and play 50 four bucks people. for four decks. That's for four decks. 50 a deck. That's awesome. Made to play four people. Start yep. away right And you can that. mix and match the decks. It's got. We've already got tournament kits for it, so as soon as we get people starting to want to play Godzilla, we're going to be doing tournaments for that too. Yeah, again, Bandai, great support of the game. Awesome support. Right, absolutely. So let's dive into our markets. We've got a lot going on this week. We've got a lot coming to the store. A lot going out on through the doors here and through our eBay account. So let's get into it. I have gold at $1,513.90. That's a nice rise. Yeah, still saying good until this election starts. Silver, $18.18. Great, great investment. I'm going to keep telling you, long as silver is definitely under 20 bucks, come buy it. Absolutely. Smart man's money right now. Also... Got a lot of other big news going on. Sports cards, we didn't have a lot of big releases, but I am happy to announce that we'll be carrying E3 art in here by Eddie Rhodes. If you listen to him on the podcast, he's one of our guests. We're going to have his card set here and his autograph lithos, all autographed and authenticated through Eddie and all C's collectibles. Great stuff. Great piece of artwork. Uh, we are uh, got a big project Eddie and I are working on. Um, I don't want to talk about it too much, but down the road by next football season, I got big announcements for an all seas thing in E3 awesome. art collab. We're going to do I'm loving it. Excited about it. Uh, what a what? cool set of turtles from Eddie last week. It was amazing. Yeah. yeah. Eddie, amazing. <laughs> Just I'm getting, it. I'm going to have my own set, but Donatello is my guy. <laughs> right on. You can't hang with Raph, man. Come on. <laughs> and with comic books, we got a brand new shipment of Scorpion comics in this week. Great, great covers. Great artwork. You're the villain, the Joker. This is awesome. Yes, it is. Which one is that? Is that Del Otto? Del Otto. Del Otto. Del Otto Ghost, Ghost Rider. Rider, number one, Virgin variant. A lot of Crane. 
Got a Devastator. Devastator. Virgin. The thing came out so sick, dude. I love it. Clayton yeah, Crane, the cover master himself. A little Carnage action. Mark Bagley, who originally has that style from The Amazing yep. Spider-Man. We have on the Carnage. As you say, I remember that 700. Great homage cover, yep. right, my homage friend? Homage cover. Homage. Homage. Yes, sir. Awesome. Um, what new issues we have this week in comic books, Chris, you want to talk about, my friend? We got... The picks from the beard, as we would say around these parts. We got Red Goblin. Sweet. Red I'm Goblin. Spider-Man theme. The new one shot has been out of... Uh, Kind of ties in the whole absolute carnage thing. Anybody who wore the comic symbiote. This is just a cool one shot with Red Goblin running around terrorizing people and like even shows fire. little even it's shows a little normie with uh with the carnage symbiote on. So no, all all that's kind of cool. pretty de demonic. Then we got DC's deceased number six. This wraps up their deceased storyline. Haven't haven't read it yet, but hopefully it wraps up really good. It's been a really good read. Catwoman gets infected, it looks yeah, like. Yeah, then we got issue, the next issue of the Tales from the Dark Multiverse. These are a series of one-shots that DC is doing. They're kind of like what-ifs, Elseworld type things. Or like darker versions of classic storylines. Sweet. So I'm kind of pissed off this Carl. is all about death of, uh, death of Superman, and then uh, Supergirl gets all pissed off and kind of goes on a rampage. And, awesome, what she actually yeah. could do with right, her Right, because she's stronger than Supergirl. Oh, yeah, you yeah. don't want to mess with Supergirl. And the, how, how she would react to that is an awesome story. Yeah, like, so it's cool. She's not going to sit back and be like, oh, my God, because she's like, no, my cousin's dead. Oh. Yes. No, I'm Superman. Somebody Superman. must die. Right. Yeah. Yeah, and then we got this new Black Label miniseries from... Uh, my pick of the DC. week. Follow our Twitter account. That was my pick of the week. You get a little yep. hidden discounts on Twitter. Me and Chris are picking our comics of the week, and that was mine this week. Yep, Joker, Big Smile, it's a new black label. Features on the Joker. Beautiful. Kind of like <laughs> some other guy trying to cure the Joker or something. I haven't read it yet. I don't know. But Jeff Lemire wrote this. He's really popular. He's written a lot of stuff. Hey, Jeff Lemire's one of my favorites, man. Yeah. Plus, that cover's awesome. I love the abstract art of it. I should have grabbed the other cover because the other cover of this is so much cool. I like that cover, though. They're both cool. It's not as cool as the other cover. Uh, well, I like them both the same. Not Look at the back cover of that. Show that back cover off of that real quick, though. Black Label DC, let's talk about it real quick. Adult line of DC's been making oversized comics. Great reads, not really intended for children. Not more of an adult read. Oversized. And uh, more of the darker side of DC yeah. again, right? Which yeah. uh, is yeah. a great, brilliant read. Yeah. Some of the stuff they used to try to do with Elseworld, but really even taking it darker than any of the Elseworlds ever would. Moving all the Vertigo or Sandman books to Black Label. Constantine. Yep. Constantine's back being his Constantine old grumpy self. Black Labels. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Love Lucifer. Constantine back being, Loving it. being grumpy and, and all that fun stuff. <laughs> Discontented with yes. his own choices. Being, being a crotchety Englishman. Tyler Wilt said, shared the podcast. Awesome, Tyler. Thank, Thank you, man. sir. You're in for the winning for two boxes of Dragon Ball. Let's do this. <laughs> awesome. What do you got for gaming this week? Anything new come out? Or oh. what's coming up this week in the marketplace so, for gaming, my friend? A lot of stuff to talk about in gaming. No new product this week. We had one of those rare off weeks. Nothing really big came in. We uh, talked to you guys last week. We were able to start selling the Cosmic Eclipse. We sold out of boxes really quick. We've still got a couple of the Elite Trainer bundles left next door. And those are even going pretty fast here. We are going to be getting the reshipment yes. in Monday or Tuesday. Yeah, and, do we still have more of the... Pikachu Eevee. Yep, boxes. the Pikachu Eevee. We got a couple of those. The Chubby Eevee. The it's Chubby Eevee. Yeah, I saw, I saw a little boy walking around with one of those. Yep. Just, he was so happy to buy that. It was so we've got a couple of them left. We had a bunch of great players. So that we were talking Learn to Play days earlier. Yesterday was an amazing Learn to Play day. So we had Yu-Gi-Oh! Learn to Play. About two, three players came in to learn Yu-Gi-Oh! We had another player come in to learn Magic. Another player come in to learn Pokemon. And like I said, we are there to teach you any of the games. So right, if you guys right. come in, we're running some bonus deals on the Learn to Play days for individual stuff. But we're going to hook you up and teach you the games if you guys come in to learn to play. The market on Magic is in an interesting place right now. So we talked last week about Pioneer. Pioneer cards still blowing up to the point where they've now announced every Monday they're going to be checking the Pioneer list to see if they need to ban stuff. So we're expecting some of these things, Aetherwork Marvel, um, Emrakul, some of these that are in a lot of the decks, they're probably going to start getting banned out and price is going to change again. On the standard front, Oko, you guys might have seen some of the jokes online, Elks everywhere. There is a card just... Change in standard. Top eight decks are all running this Oko card. Turns all your cards into three three elks. So you just basically have nothing. Right now, he's still legal. He's still going to be legal at least for another like two three weeks, eh, a little less than three weeks. On the eighteenth or nineteenth, it's the day right after the mythic chant or mythic qualifier that Magic's running this month. They're going to reassess standard. We'll see if he gets banned then. He might get banned. Gilded Goose might get banned. But until now, he's still riding at like forty dollars a pop, and we've got some next door if you guys want to come and pick up some Okos for your deck. Even if you don't want him for standard, he's taken over modern. He's taken over pioneer. I've even got people running him in Oathbreaker. So, if you guys are looking for Okos, we've got those. If you're looking for cards from the new set from Pokemon, Ken got us some good stuff out of there. Um, 
Just a lot of it's listed on eBay right now. Yep. It's going to be ending on Monday and Tuesday. All C's eBay account, A L L C. And the thing we're. S I N C. Look it up. And yep. the thing we're doing with that is, like, like the card shop and the comic shop, some of the stuff that we get, if it's not price support and it's some of those, like, really kind of higher dollar cards, they're not going to go in the case. They're going to go on eBay. Straight yep. to auction. So it's so going to give you an option to either buy it for cheaper and win it. And if you're local, you can always pick it up. Yep, Absolutely. no shipping and. Uh, you know, you get it on an auction, sets its own price. So that's yep. probably the best way or fairest way to ever buy any kind of collectible, I say. And we have one case next door that's my like nice and magic case. Anything that's not that's nice and not hidden in that case, it's right on eBay. It's on eBay or TCG. And you guys can check out either of those sites. We've got TCG at All Seas Gaming Arena. Same thing with our tremendous sports car collection. We saw a ton of sports cars on yep. there every week, tons of coins, tons of comic books. Buy it now and auction for yep. it. Complete and sets of figures. Also, we're excited to announce that we're launching our website. Website's going to be ready any moment now. Any moment now. So we'll have our point of sale website. We've got to work diligently to put a lot of yep. pictures in on it. But uh, we'll get on that. But you can hear within, Trish, how fast before we get the website up? Uh, as soon as I'm done with inventory. So I'm going to say probably by next weekend. Next weekend. Talk, we'll I'm talking to you point, next week. Point of sale website That up sounds about right for my uh, gaming arena website, too. You guys are going to have a new website for the gaming arena. Tons of great singles ex accessible there. Going back to, we're now doing TCG Low next door on all our cards. So we're going to grade the card on site, see what we've listed at on TCG. And we're going to meet you at the lowest price TCG is doing there. Beautiful, beautiful. And that brings us to the last big buy over there. We had a great Yu-Gi-Oh! collection come in this week. Player got out of the game, sold us his collection, which means my case is full of staples you need. It's got tons of different pieces for different decks. And we had a great tournament last night. Had an Appaloosa tournament. One Appaloosa went out the door. I'm going to be hosting a Prismatic Rare tournament this coming th uh, Friday leading into the Denver Regional. I was going to say, great time to get a good yep, singles collection. Awesome regional time. Right? Yep, we've got tons of singles if you guys are looking for stuff for regionals. Wednesday, we have a uh, Dual Devastator tournament. Thursday, we're going to have a prize card tournament. Friday, we're going to have our Saturday night tournament events. And Saturday, you're all going to be at regionals. So it's going to be a great week to come out and do those. I guarantee you we still have the best prize support in town, most competitive store in town for Yu-Gi-Oh, Magic, and Dragon Ball, any other card game you can think of. We're your card shop. We Absolutely. are a shop. You're a Denver home of gaming. So breaking it down, last night's tournament, we gave out two packs for entry, three packs per player in the prize pool, and a $70 prize card once we hit 16 players. Awesome. No one else in town is going to meet you at those prices. Nope, nobody. I love it. So let's go further. Let's talk about other buys we had this week. Tons of stuff came in. I bought an awesome run of Walking Dead, issue 3 through 31. Sold about three-fourths of it to my friend Cecil Lammy. You might hear Cecil Lammy on ESPN, the fan radio. Great fantasy football analyst. So I want to give him props for coming in an all seas customer. Picking these up tomorrow morning from me, Cecil. Thank you very much, brother. Check him out at 104.3, the fan. Also, what else did we get this week? I got a Pete Alonzo, Gold Label Auto, Rookie of the Year for the New York Mets, Home Run King, set the record. I'll be putting this on eBay. Actually, I have two of these. One's on eBay right now. This one will follow up on eBay on auction, seven-day auction. Recommend a great buy. Great looking card, Gold Label, Gold Framed, Rookie on Card Autograph. Absolutely. Sweet, my dear. I think it's your time to shine. Oh, yeah. Well, our new our segment. One last segment before our interview with Dawn is uh, Trish's show and tell. And she got a couple of nice pieces in this week when we were out on my birthday. I took two days off this week. James Trish taking days off. Trish oh. gave me a nice uh, vacay for my birthday. I love you, baby. Thank you very much for doing so. You're welcome. And these great pieces came in. What great karma for you, my dear. Oh, I my know, God. I know. I'm Ryan got you hooked up. Right. And Chris, uh, so we got in a uh, winter gremlins pack here neca toys neca toys and so you can see these two little fellas right here uh, on the back the christmas carolers they're christmas carolers yep comes complete with uh, nice little cloth scarves and you got a gingerbread man and you've got your little candy cane and uh, yeah uh, i collect gremlins so this is what Ooh. i have part of my what i've been looking for Gribbles for... one my favorite holiday movie right right and great so, holiday movie. <laughs> great holiday movie. in addition to this this piece i already have and we have only one left in the store so if you are a gremlins fan like i am you want to get here and get this as soon as you can because it's gonna go quickly uh this is our flasher so although he doesn't have his uh flasher oh. He's just the, right now, he's but the, he's the guy who slammed candy bars in the movie theater. Okay, yeah. wait. So I guess I still have to get the flash. He's the so. movie theater guy who's uh, eating the Skittles in the Baby Ruth. 
Right. Although this is <laughs> this is great though. He's got his little smoke right okay, here. You gotta say. Yeah. So that's awesome. He's got, got his a beer, uh, which I don't remember, which is cool. Looks all. Aneka does a great job of skull. So does Everything's pop. accurate. Looks authentic. Although, so they don't get in trouble. The, the right. Skittles is called Brad Bites. So that's <laughs> and then this what looks like it should have been a what which is that? Baby Ruth. A baby Ruth is a doodad bar. Yeah. <laughs> it's great. This just kills me. I absolutely love this. So at. Uh, I don't know if I had said this before in any of the podcasts, but I have um, the Gremlin Spider, the Gremlin Bat. This guy here, uh, my good friend David at work got me the um, original Gizmo. And what else do I have? I have one other one. And I'm on you the... do have the Flasher already. You have no. the Flasher as well. No, I have this guy right here. Oh. I don't have the Flasher. So I need the, the Flasher, flasher and there, I right? need the electric guy. And there's a couple other ones out there that I need to get my. Pop. So you have the bat? Did you say the bat? Yeah, I said the bat. Oh, I got okay. the spider, the bat, this guy, Gizmo, and um, and, and the spider's really cool. He's he's a stands probably about this tall. Gremlins too. Gremlins too. Gremlins too. Right. Yeah. And um, so he stands about this tall. He's about that wide, and uh, he's got. You can't see that's about a foot. Yeah, it, it's and I think it roughly is a foot in diameter. Is yeah. what they say. Um. And about half a foot, or no, maybe about a foot tall. Right. Um, and he's got the the little um, beacon with the spider on it that he drinks so he can transform into the spider. Yeah. It's freaking awesome. It's I just, I absolutely love it. I, as soon as I got it, my, my wonderful husband got it oh. for me. Um, so as soon as I got it, I took it to work and you have to boil down the legs so that way they can become pliable and then you could put it together. And everybody at work was just like swooping around because they were all impressed by it even if they don't love gremlins even if they've never even seen it they're still intrigued by this again piece. NECA makes a great collectible action figure great toy right. I wouldn't even call it a toy it's an actual collectible piece it's so a friend of parts. mine yes uh, Rashad Santiago he's the season 6 winner of uh, Sci-Fi Channel's Face Off has made I don't know if it's for sale I can always ask him but he has a hand puppet of a full size spike <gasps> oh awesome and he goes gizmo caca mm, really talks no, I mean you. You're talking. Oh, well, it's a hand puppet. Well, you said it doesn't. Well, if he so. talked, I'd have been using. Yeah, I don't care anymore. Now, but but he talk. brought he brought it out to uh, when S's Park Comic Con uh, had their Comic Con for their one shot, as it were. Mm -hmm. uh, him and uh, another guy came out, and they had a thing from Stranger Things there, the monster from that. But uh, he brought the thing and. Isabel Isabella was sitting on the uh, counter, and I'll put I'll put the picture in the edit of the video, but. She's just looking at it, and you got you got Spike just looking at her, and she's like, eh. "She didn't give a shit." Yeah, yeah. didn't worry. <laughs> awesome. Anthony, he's a, you know he'd be scared of it. Well, you know, but I'll ask, I'll ask him if it's for sale. Yeah, please. It do. is. I want the life size amazing. one too. They also like made the life size product. Yes, yes. I, awesome. No, I'm saying this is a life size. Like I'll show no, you the but pictures. There's statue Neca made like a large sculpts too. Oh yeah, I showed you the yeah. one statue yeah, that's last year in New York. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly. Yes, yes. Exactly, my friend. Although that guy's probably way more than I can afford, but who knows? What? Well, right on. There's holidays, but anyhow, <laughs> holidays. yeah. So if uh, if anyone is uh, interested in this, last last one here. So come by, get your gremlins. Come by, get your gremlins. Holiday is the season. It is. Uh, all right, Chris. So, Art, Chris already corrected me. He already said Demi Gorgon. Uh, yeah, I remember. Chris Klein. Yeah, Esquale. no, Chris uh, Esquale. Oh, nice, nice. Right on. Thank you, Chris, for uh, getting us corrected. Thank Ken's easy to correct. It happens all the time. Aww. All right. Bad nerd. Bad nerd. <laughs> Bad nerd. <Sorry. laughs> Next to my favorite part of the show, Mr. Donald David, my friend. Hey, Thank you, you very doing? much. Thank you. Officer Donald David of the DP, or Denver Police Department. I was going to say DPD, right? Yep. Yeah, proud. Yeah, DPD. Proud of our okay. city. Proud of my state. Thank you very much, brother, for representing Thank our, you. Thank our you. town. Thank you. Also, you were in the U.S. Army, right? Yeah, I was in the Army for eight years. Yeah, man. So, so knew you through that thank time. Thank you for man. your service. Oh, we man, appreciate, you. appreciate you. I knew you well when you were through that time when you were buying cars oh, and you had yeah. to take leave. And yeah. God, you were gone for two years? I was gone for over a year and a half at yeah, least. Yeah, um, Coming through back and forth. And, right, man. And I started with cards and... You know, now I'm doing comics. But so much yeah, props man. to you and love, so brother, for that. Thank you much, brother. <laughs> much love. Yeah, yeah, I love thanks. our veterans and our police officers, man. You yeah. got to show them. But there's plenty of us out here that are collecting, so it's 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 a lot of us. So Yeah, and I want to tie the co I think that's interesting, bro. I think it tie the collation of the military to collecting oh, yeah. is huge, man. Oh, yeah. Um, 
Yeah, I mean, pretty much, I mean, everybody that I know from the military usually collects something. Right. Um, I mean, from cards or a lot of the guys that I knew collected a lot of autograph cards. So right. So that's where I started my uh, my journey of collecting was just autograph cards, packs, busting packs. Um, I was born in 87, so pretty much we didn't have autograph cards that often. Right. And you so know, you're in that mass production like that. era of the mid 90s. Oh, yeah. talking about my time, man. I'm 87 too. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So, yeah, I mean, we, we just had, you know, our shiny cards or whatever. <laughs> right. Number cards. Jordan was pretty hot, but, you know, nothing nothing was compared to like when you saw like a a uh, game used ball card that was like the biggest thing it right was like, oh what the heck are you what and the heck is this right? and that was the time period more of vince carter kobe oh, yeah. is worth kobe's kobe's, kobe's yeah. were huge yep. i mean you had everybody from you know everybody was collecting jordan yep yep um, all those jordan know, inserts are huge yeah, money so check them out on ebay i mean yeah uh, ex credentials jordan yeah. inserts uh tons of jordan inserts that yeah. are great, great oh cards. yeah and they're still you know i mean it's weird because now you know, we're in our 30s now. We can actually afford some of these cards. And now we're starting to pick up what we used to see. And like, oh, man, I remember having these. And now people right, are right. starting to pick up those cards again. It's cheaper so, now than it was back then. Well, yeah. except it depends on what you're looking for. Bas- basketball is the most hyped up card of all the sports. So, like, Zion this year, dude. Mm. You were at the show. You know, you yeah. saw what was up going on yeah. in the sports card market. Yeah. yeah, I tried to make every single uh, show and just... Just see what everybody's collecting. Right, right. You know, I uh, sports cards. Sports cards are hyped right now. Oh my god, comics yeah. are too, but card, yeah. the cards are coming back again. Oh it's yeah, all... Car, you know, and it's 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 really hard doing both when you're when you're doing you know copping and you're doing police, you know, uh, military work. So you kind of try to pick your battles, what you're trying to collect. I mean, I've seen guys with, you know, beautiful beautiful Jordan autographs. I mean, cases and cases of of good good autographed cards. Um, and the big hobby of trading that was the big thing with 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 guys so right right military Come yeah, yeah camaraderie yeah. and like you said like when you're in the military you're just talking like hey you know what do you have to pass the time um if anybody is in the military you know what i'm talking about we can be sitting around for hours and hours just waiting for something sitting around and waiting well, so. magic the gathering is also big a lot of guys play magic too, oh right? yeah card magic is pretty big or yeah. poker i mean, just oh, cards yeah. in general card, right? I, I would say there's a there's a pretty decent strong uh community of magic players i tried my hand at it for a while it just it, it's really really tough to kind of keep up with it it's you a whole be other really, just gonna yeah, come yeah, back brother. in come see yeah. me over in the game <laughs> yeah we got you set yeah exactly you got yeah, no time, exactly. you, got no time uh, you know i mean and i and i i think a lot of the the guys that were doing um uh, magic word weren't doing standard they were doing modern right modern, because it was a lot easier to see you know man these cards especially well not. if you're in the middle east yeah. dude you're not gonna get out oh there yeah on standard, but right. i mean you can get there's just groups out there that are doing um magic tournaments outside you know just getting a box waiting for about six weeks mm-hmm. and then doing their little pack um mm-hmm. right, right. Bus packs i have military guys all the time they'll come in they'll buy a box of an older set they haven't gotten to because maybe they've been on deployment yeah. or something right exactly and so they'll buy a box they're eight friends they're gonna just do a mm-hmm. private draft with it yeah. they have enough packs to give out for prize support yeah. you have yeah. a lot of guys who do those yeah and i mean most of it's just our morale you know just to make sure that we're you know just killing time and having fun i mean at the end of the day that's all we have is just our friends and um you know what we can talk about and with cards and even to magic yeah, just you know just that ideal of having those things and just being able to talk about them and, yeah yeah get know, your mindset up on yeah you know, get away from certain desert. things yeah, yeah so, right you know yeah, a lot of the guys so. also who are really into like the animes of like dragon ball super and oh, some yeah. of that and Oh, yeah, oh, they'll yeah. spend a lot of time, like, watching yeah. them online and just getting well, the out of too, right? I mean, you got more access now, yeah. Yeah. Be, which is cool. Yeah, I mean, so pretty much overseas, you're watching either, you know, bootleg movies or tons of animes or you're talking about cards or you're, you're talking about sports. Um, yep. It could be anything, you know, and then obviously with all the new movies coming out, with all the comics and stuff like that, we're talking about all the, right. oh, man, I remember when, you know, I had, uh, no, no, you know, uh, 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 you know, Doctor Doom or somebody like that, or no, I remember Nightcrawler. He didn't do that in the comics and blah blah. Oh, man, blah. I never everybody we get Batman every, versus Superman. Yeah, everybody knows what they're you know, and then most of them don't really know. So um, it, it, mm. it's just a really good way to pass the time. Absolutely. So, but yeah, I I came to James a long time ago with just uh, I think my first thing was just cards. Right. So right. I, I had boxes and boxes of cards from Tennessee where trading cards is really really really. Uh, important and it's just swapping cards you know hey i'll give you these autographs for this guy and for me um it was a good way to keep 
uh, stats on certain players. Right. And what cards used to be, it was kind of sad thing with Panini now, is it'll put all the stats on there like they used to, right? Yeah. Right. So, I mean, I, I've gotten out of the, the, the game for a few years now. I mean, kind of, you kind of swapped me over to comics. So, I've, I've been really, Rise really Right, right, yeah. right. That was another yeah. cool thing about the show. At the expo, uh, Donna, he brought Anthony Devine, one of the biggest sports card yeah. buyers in the nation, was at the show. Yeah, you came up to me with you had a LeBron, yeah. Auto, Kobe. I got rid of my LeBron. I had a Kobe. I had, uh, you know, I mean, I had Jordan Auto. I, I mean, I had some yeah. pretty good Elways, you know, stuff like that. So I basically got cash. Put that into the next. Thing. Yeah, I yeah. moved. I moved on from cards, autograph cards, and I put a lot more into my collection of comics. So um, I'm doing comics now, and I pretty much just said, well, let's do one sport athlete here and just keep up. So it, it, it's a different kind of ball game when you're talking comics to cards. So it's it's been a challenge. Yes. It's been really fun uh, at the same time. So. It's kind of different. The hype rises is the same. So um, Oh, yeah. Yeah, speculators yeah. and comic books can rise and hype up oh, the book. Yeah. Just like a Zion Williamson yeah. rookie card can be hyped. Oh, yeah. But the fall of a sports card to be quicker. Yeah, I would say so. Yeah, I mean, the, the gamble, I think you have more of a, a, a risk a little bit with certain sports players. Yeah. Um, you know, you've got one guy that can be hot for four weeks, and then all of a sudden, you know, somebody gets hurt or something like that. They start throwing picks. Or Baker I Mayfield, mean, as we're watching right now. Yeah, I mean. <laughs> I love my different Broncos, but uh, they're not yeah. a hard team to beat right uh, now. Or it's, your Broncos <laughs> take out my guy's knee. <laughs> yeah, hey, hey. But yeah, Holmes, Holmes. He looks fine. He ran on the field after they won today and looked fine. Right yeah, Pat Mahomes. But he's not guys. playing But still? he was hyped. Yeah, you cannot be in the, on oh, the bench, yeah. dude. You ain't yeah. doing me no good on Killing the Killing me here. Can't be on the pond. Yeah. I mean, and I would say my collecting has always been like, hey, I love certain cards and I love certain comics. Right. And I'm always just trying to either move a comic or a move a card to get a better comic or a better card for my personal collection. So I try to always stack what I got and then I'll try to move certain things. But that's the way I operate things. I'm not a big hoarder of like, hey, I want 15 of this card. Right. Or, or the 15 same thing. of this comic. Right. And not be able to say, hey, I'd like to trade. So. That's or up, or upgrade your issue, right? Like if you got Iron Man fifty five and a good a G, you want to get at least. A oh fine, yeah, right? yeah. If I can get a fine and I can move on from a good, yeah. then, then fine. You right. know, will take my Iron Man fifty five and a couple other comics for a fine compared yeah. to any day. <laughs> Absolutely, you know what I mean. So yeah, I get it. Yeah, yeah. it's a smart man's play. Oh know? yeah, I mean, and I see it like that. I mean, the, the the difference between coming from cards to comics is there there is the the aspect of trading hasn't really been very big that I've noticed, at least in Colorado. Yeah. Um, that's why I've always came to James, because James always swaps with me personally and just says, hey, you know, I've got these cards, or hey, I want to get this. It's always been an easy swap. I mean, you had all the... We'll work it out one yeah, way or another, I mean, right? For all the places I've been in Colorado, James has the best uh, store here. I mean, basically... Thank you, anything. Yeah, that, I mean, man. anything Thank that you. I've had, and I've been to all the stores out here. Um, James has the fairest prices. Everything is eBay comparable. Right. So everything has been an easy, smooth transition. And my collection's pretty much been based off of James helping me out. I would say about years. 15, <laughs> 20 years ago, right, Chris, we had to make the choice. Like, you know, eBay's a thing, dude. It is taking over the marketplace in prices. Mm -hmm. So either you're going to go with that market mm -hmm. and go with right. it, yeah, not be angry expand. and salty yeah. about it. Yeah. Or you're gonna sink, you know what I mean? Yeah. So yeah. it is what it is. It is yeah. just a true price guide for oh, collectibles, yeah. my friend. Yeah, so I mean, it, if anybody kind of tells you otherwise, it, you might do yeah. it. Just go buy it. Yeah, <laughs> I mean, that's right. that's always been the thing with James. Just you know, hey, we we both know uh, what the price is, and then we we basically negotiate on that. And I've always came with fair deals with James. And obviously, I mean, I used to live closer by, but now I'm kind of a little bit further out. But I still come to the shows. It's just down the street from my right. house, so right, I just. Right. Every time you have the show, I come down there and make sure I take a look at everything they got. And we're in Denver. We're, we're bordering. We're bordering. Yeah, 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 the, yeah, the, yeah. the big, big takeaway is also what's that emotional value versus what the actual value of the product of course. is. Donald gets that, though. He, he's not an emotional no, man. No, yeah, I mean, honestly. <laughs> right? I think, he knows how to keep that calmness. I think, <laughs> I think what happens is is people get emotionally attached to comics a lot more. Mm -hmm. um, they, I think they we see really, it every day. Uh, or they really, 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 I mean, yeah. I see that. I think that's. Even with sports cards, I mean, mm -hmm. people can come in with their childhood collection from the 90s, mm -hmm. and I feel like as a dream crusher, you'd be like, hey, I'm sorry, you got yeah. nothing in there we want to buy. It's not really worth as much <laughs> yeah. as they thought. Yeah, to me. and they get all pissed off. Yeah. Every, every day with Pokemon. Review. I was about to say, yeah. bane of my existence with Pokemon over there, like, right. we want your old Pokemon, but 
Your old Pokemon Commons, it's five dollars. That one's got a Shadowless Charizard. Yeah. For Not edition? everyone has Shadowless Charizard. I got a ten thousand yeah. dollar Charizard. Not everybody even has Charizard. No. And yeah. I mean, <laughs> that's a good base. If you have Charizard, we still want to see it. I mean, I mean, like I said too, like being from like thirty two, I remember the first boxes of those Pokemon cards. Mm. I remember seeing You're those right first edition Charizards going on like flea markets for a hundred bucks. I mean, those are worth you know tens of thousands of dollars now. I wish I would have had them, but but that goes to grading, but, yeah. and we'll go into that with your the stuff. I'm oh sure yeah, anyway. oh of course. What yeah. makes the difference between something third party graded, yep. versus having a raw copy? Oh right? yeah, so yeah. Those Charizards now you got to get better oh, yeah. graded PSA. Graded. Oh yeah. yeah, yeah. I mean, those were you know obviously back in the day we were what maybe ten, maybe nine. Or it wasn't whatever. even a thing yet, really. Nobody was even. I mean, people were collecting stuff, but. You know, I used to have the books where, you know, you just flip through and say, oh, man, I, you know, the big thing was Japanese cards. Yeah. And having a Japanese card. Like, oh, man, this is Japanese. And ironically, this is not American. Yep. <laughs> and those are the ones not worth anything. Everyone wants a uh, yeah. edition. They're the ones that just don't have the value compared yeah. to the American cards now. But I, I was right there with you. I mean, yeah, it was like Japanese yeah. Charizard. I'll take it. Yeah, yeah, yeah right, right. Yeah. And, and I mean, that was a thing. It was, you know, it's been a great journey of just collecting stuff. I mean. You know, from Beanie Babies all the way up to you know, I've, I've done, I've done anything. You That's can a call great Pogs, Slammers. <laughs> right, right, right. So I, I've collected. Hey, who sold all that at All Seas? <laughs> oh, man. We we were like I bought, right I in I bought Pogs from All Seas. <laughs> yeah, right, I sold Pogs at All Seas. <laughs> I managed to avoid collecting be be Beanie Babies back then, but Pogs, Slammers, all that. And then I got into collecting Tamagotchis for a while because it wasn't oh, just okay. you didn't have your own. I, I Tamagotchis, Digimon, yeah, the individual yeah. ones. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, none of that's worth anything anymore. <laughs> oh man, I mean, Tamagotchis coming back. They're coming back, but it, you don't want the old ones. The battery don't work. It, it, it's it's kind of weird just to seeing like all these stuff that you know. It's like, oh man, this is vintage. And I tell my kids, you know, I have a stepson, he's fifteen, and you know, it's like we had a time where we didn't have cell phones. Mm -hmm. You know, like hey, the only way to talk to somebody was like, hey, I'll trade you. Mm -hmm. You know, and then you had to go down the street and talk oh, yeah. to the guy Make after school. Or right, something right, 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 right. You can't Absolutely. do that anymore. Well, that's a great uh, you know, training cards. I mean, that's yeah. exactly it, right? It was communication skills yeah. and bartering skills oh, yeah. and, and trying to one up somebody sometimes. I mean, that all came with these things yes. back in the day. Right. Um, I think Sh that simple street smarts and how to get along with human beings. Yeah. Man. I, I think mean, that's a, you know it better. Well, we both know it well because I see a lot of things. Yeah. But you see more than I do. My oh, well, but yeah, human nature, brother. It's yeah. So I'm working. I'm working with some people with no common sense <laughs> right. here. So I, I, I work with a different level of people. Yes. So I'm not saying anything if anybody you know you know is in the no, but yeah, but, uh, but it's just the facts of the world. Oh yeah. yeah, yeah so. Just a funny thing about collecting in that time. So like your guys' generation. Was infamous for opening the toys, but by the time we were growing up, we were told, you know, you don't want to open your toys. Yeah, what right. if it's collected? Right. Toys but you know what? We always opened with. and threw away video games. We never oh, kept yeah. those boxes. We never kept yep. those. Ma if you have the box in the actual old manual for your video game, yep. the price on that thing soars up. We same just, same we just had those right? Game so Boy same games. Same reflection. Uh, toy biz, uh, X Men figures out of mm -hmm. the package are absolutely worth it. Those in, in the package. package are coming back a little bit. They're starting to come back. But those yep. actually got saved in the package. You know what I mean? In, like Marvel. I saved them in the package. I never wanted to open them because I thought maybe they'd be worth something. Right. Yeah. Worse than in the eighties, nothing is saved in the package like Star Wars, yep. GI Joe. Yeah. Right. We, we were probably in that 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 era where they were like, hey, everything was collected from your, you know, you had your Spider Man, whatever. Your Todd McFarlane had all those like number one right. issues, silver gold platinum or whatever you know it was marketed those. that way yeah and I'm, all seas was in his prime not when we still are now but that was in the 90s the beginning yeah, the yeah collectible yeah. prime and you had stores on every corner promoting it that oh, way oh yeah so, i mean you know, if anybody knows i had to go to slammers i mean talking slammers when slammers were in these cases and people were like oh man it's like a, a piece of metal slammer for a pog <laughs> yeah. i can understand it but you know everybody was collecting these things so that was, that it's was a five ounce slammer not yeah, a three point five ounce slammer. slammer i don't think it was made of silver which any of that shit none of that shit was licensed so yeah the whole industry got collapsed. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Beavis, but butthead were on shit that wasn't. Yeah, yeah everybody. Yeah, because they had machines it. where you could make the. You made your own pog. Yeah, you are just taking a picture of Yeah, you could literally make your own pog. your own pog. Yeah, it doesn't work. <laughs> There's copyrights and shit. Yeah. So, but yeah, no, like you said, I mean, um, my, my era is pretty, pretty, pretty preserved, I think, like of collecting. It's still strong. Um, I love going to shows. I, I definitely want to go to Comic Con in the next couple of years. I want to do that one time. I'm gonna dress up and do my whole family and do that whole thing with San Diego. Which Comic Con? San Diego. San Diego. So I want to do one. And you know, I just well, Denver, you could probably. I mean, that'd be yeah. worthwhile working probably. Oh yeah, yeah I yeah. mean, so anybody downtown, that's my district. I work down there. 
you'll see me patrolling. Don't ask me for anything as favor wise, but if you see me or hey, whatever me this, uh, down by you know 16th Street hi. Mall. Just say hey, what's up? I remember seeing you. Whatever, that's cool. So we get that uh, side gate work in Denver Comic Con at the yeah. Convention Center. So there's a lot of things that we have down there. Obviously, Denver is a booming town. So I just want to pick up my passenger safely. All right, I do oh, Uber. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. If, if you are doing Uber, just make sure you stay. Try to stay out of the middle lane because people start getting through, and an Uber driver gets hit, and then I got to yes. take an hour doing your accident report. I have people today. And I'm trying, I'm, trying to get, I'm trying to get over to the side. I have people today. I'm trying to get yeah. over the side to let them in because I have people behind me. And they start jumping in my car. I was like, dude, I'm trying to get over to yeah. let you in safely. You, you He's like, be, oh, it's okay. You'd be surprised. Like, no, 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 it's not okay. Well, it's, dude, just driving downtown sucks. So. Yeah, 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 it's definitely horrible. I lived here my whole life, and I still get fucked up driving. Oh, downtown, really? Dude. Yeah, I mean, I'm just glad I work there. I just basically come in, come out. To but, learn that map in your head, though. Oh, downtown it's, it's Denver, crazy. Um, I'm downtown. coming, oh, coming from. God. I mean, I'm from Tennessee. Man, I'll just take the train. Where it all makes sense in the yeah, order. I mean, you basically just go east or west or north right. or south. Down there, you got cross streets, you got you know alleys, stuff like that. So it's the only it's, place in this whole state that's like that too. Yeah, it's and, it, so. and it's cockeyed. Whoever made yeah, it, you guys haven't seen the map. Everything yeah. faces north and yeah. south, and then you see downtown and cocks. Yeah. So, it's because yeah. of the Platte River, I guess. Yeah, back in like the river the 1800s back in the district or whatever when they had. Horse they were buggy. building it north <laughs> yeah. and south, and we built the rest of the town around downtown Denver yep. and only straightened it out later. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, it's been a challenge, but it's been really fun. Uh, I enjoy it. I mean, actually talking about that, I think Chris uh, Chris Evans, is that the one that played Captain yep. America? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. He was just down there on Friday, I think. No, what? Was, yeah, he was um, at the Paramount Theater or whatever. So I don't know how they figure That's these cool. things out, but the, he has some kind of Netflix thing or something going on. But um, so, yeah, they were like, hey, he's right there. And I was like, well, my cop car's right here, so I should probably go into it. I didn't go in there. I was going to. I was going to just use, like, hey, walk in. Like, hey, man. Well, yeah, you get on? access, right? Well, I, well, I don't know. I didn't know how it was. So I'm kind of new. So I'm kind of like, oh, uh, you know, I'm probably oh, bro, not going to use that. Yeah. So I was thinking, just got got in there. get my Captain America shield real quick and get a picture. But yeah, I said, well, it's no big deal. I'll go to the next one. So <laughs> the shield um, is in your car. You're totally not like that, bro. Right? No, 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 no. no. <laughs> you're riding around with the Captain Hey, man, I'm a veteran from the U.S. I'm a different I don't typically get your picture. I really don't. You don't at all. You know, I mean, um, you know, I'm from the town where basically it's kind of like the Springs where a lot of people are military. So it's kind of right. normal or whatever. Not now, if I go to Home Depot and someone gives me like a hundred dollars off my washer, I'll be fine with that. <laughs> right. but, yeah, you yeah. know, other than that, like, you know, give me a free meal. On veterans. Yeah. Yeah. Right. I mean, I'm not going to be going around. going to go get his free coffee yeah. and donuts yeah, or whatever. I'm not veterans. That, yeah, I'm not that guy. Well, you get that military all, discount over here, ten percent. Well, yeah. I mean, I, I, I basically <laughs> been working with James the whole time, all so my, we, we've been having a good relationship of it. Yeah, so he, he's known that I've been in the military for a while. So. He's no, I know you since you were in, bro. You know, yeah. Yeah, so yeah. it's been a while. Uh, 2011 is when I got here, so it's been it's been a great journey, and just um, this has been my store. Uh, pretty much any time I want to trade a comic or whatever and get my collection up. Hell yeah, yeah let's so, let's get into yeah, it, dog. So, let's so, get into it. Let's get All right, this so I got a box. Awesome. This I got a box. Awesome. Staring at this box um, so, all day. Yeah, so here's my this one. I probably say my giant size X Men number one. Um, this is probably my pride and joy right now. Just this because book is, this book yeah. is hot as shit right yeah. now, too. I mean, I think I got it. Um, you know, that that's what I was saying from trading cards. And I'm not knocking cards with autographs. I've seen a bigger turnaround from this, you know, buying it like 300 bucks um, to, to now over a thousand dollars. Well, I'll say this not. Wolverine ain't gonna tear, tear his meniscus, right? Yeah, Wolverine ain't gonna smoke <laughs> rocks. Yeah, there is all that. So. And, and the other thing, like we were saying, like this is the nostalgia. This is what I grew up on. Classic These cover. These are the guys that I love. Um, this is my book. This is a top 100 comic book of all time giants yeah. has been number one so, i'd say it's top five yeah. top 50 uh, i mean it, it's you know and if you want to include the whole every comic oh thing yeah and i mean i'm not a real like for personal collecting i don't care if it's a four or five right as long as it's intact you know it's i mean a dog didn't eat this you got the blue oh, label cgc yeah, blue it's, label it's blue labeled uh, it wasn't pressed it hasn't been cleaned so i don't know it might it might come back a little bit higher um cgc graded um a beautiful comic i mean and i like it to be a little bit dirty a little bit i, I mean sometimes you know it'd be great to have a nine eight of one of these well but... I'll tell you, in every other hobby like cleaning pressing and restoration mm -hmm. is considered restoration oh yeah for some reason comic book collecting has gotten around it's, pressing and cleaning there's a, yeah and i got another book in here too it's it, it's been a challenge and change for me for like collecting cards to comics right because if i did that on a card if i cleaned it oh yeah that's fucked up yeah you yeah you're, you're done. done yeah we, yeah, we, we done. both know that 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 nine 
uh, or that t that ten is just basically a nine at this point now. So your value is gone. Yeah, down quite correct. A bit. So you know, as far as it's comics goes, it's a weird thing because in coins, yeah. it's very coins. It's oh, I believe blue. it. You don't touch it. Yeah, right? you don't touch it. Yeah, I mean, you know, and that's what I think. I mean, when I see this book, I'm like, oh man, you know, 1975. I wasn't born at that time, but they were, you know, they were. This comic book came out. So some of that stuff I love when I get these graded books. Well, uh, and there's a ton of first appearance in that book. So you got Colossus first, right. Storm first, Nightcrawler yeah. first. Third appearance, well, third appearance of that. Uh, hey, James, James wasn't even born then either. Third or fourth? <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm 76. <laughs> <laughs> it's right before him. Right before yeah. Chris was born. Though. I was. Chris, Chris was around. I was. The I am the only one in this room alive. He got it off the rack. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. He got it off the rack. <laughs> 10 cents. Uh, oh, 50 cents. A couple other ones. 10 cents? Was it fucking 1955? <laughs> yeah, I mean. What else you got? Uh, <laughs> Silver Surfer. Uh, second appearance, I love this cover. Um, cool Fantastic book. Four, um, number 49. I mean, I, I was going to get the first appearance, but, you know, as far as this goes, I mean, second appearance, I mean, it's just a classic. You yeah, know, bro. it's um, an awesome cover. It's it's a really good cover. I got it with CBCS at one of my, um, at one of the shows. I sent it in. Um, great, it came back. I was fine with it at a four. Um, I just love the cover. I mean, I like this way better than the first appearance of Silver Surfer. It's just that, that, it's it just class. I picked Galactus up, that, I picked the up right the number light. two yeah. of Carnage, the exact same thing. It yeah. shows you the power of Galactus on that. Yeah. You see the yeah. green ominous of him and his hands on top, like you pity little fuck. That's, that's, who, that's who I see as the next next big bad villain. Oh, he's always should have been, man. Yeah, honestly. Don't yeah. choose more than the cloud, man. <laughs> yeah, they, they fucked that all up that cloud. <laughs> Um, obviously everybody knows Venom, you know, I, I think I got this one actually from you. Yep. Um, this is, I've had so many of these, I mean, um, Tom but James will get them. Yeah. I mean, this, this is like what your key 90 book. This was kind of a lot of these are out there, but you know, this book has taken off in the last, you know, Five years Outside of John Romita Sr., my second favorite uh, Spider-Man pincer is Todd McFarlane. Yeah. That yeah. cover is so classic yeah, now. I mean, Been remade and spawned. I bought that off the rack. Yeah. Yeah. I, I mean, didn't buy it off the rack, but I... You sold it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We got I mean, it around. It's, it's been a pretty I got Todd McFarlane's thumbprint. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Um, let's see. So I got a couple others. That looks um, awesome. Oh. So I got two of these. I know it's kind of like, you know, I like, try not to... You know, hoard things, but I do have one signed by Stan Lee. They are two different items. So. Yeah, so there's two different CGC one five. I mean, I think it was detached. It's 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 a great cover. Uh, it's not eaten up by a dog. I think that's it just still great. One five on it's still a good book. Yeah, yeah. yeah. so it, it's a. Uh, that's where breeding bugs me. Yeah, dude. so that's, that's the great part cover there. right there. No, it's yeah. detached cover. It's bro. detached. Oh, so once it's, it's detached, it's pretty much it's, it's a whore. Yeah, so. That's but the, hey, it's been a challenge. Who am I? Yeah, to understand what do we know? how that works. <laughs> what do we know? Um, okay, yeah. some bubble gum. Let's put it back together. So, I mean, I've collected that. And, I mean, it's still I, sick, though. So, I mean, it's signed by Stan Lee. Right? Yeah, Stan Lee, I think it's been um, oh, like 14 days before he passed away. My favorite so, my favorite like anti hero of all time, the Punisher. Yeah, so, I mean, John Romita artwork. Another Punisher, un, unsigned. Um, I love this book. Um, I, I mean, I think being in law enforcement or whatever not brings you to Punisher a little bit. I know it's kind of cliche or whatever not, but, you know, it's not that I'm trying to go be sometimes anti you, I'll or say whatever. This, sometimes you agree with yeah, it. Hey, bro, sometimes. that's why I'm not in law enforcement, because I would be the Punisher. Uh, yeah, so, <laughs> I mean, it, it's just right. a beautiful cover. I mean, he, he I oh, like the Netflix may series. I copy? Did you may I copy? I would be a maniac. Yeah, I mean, the series <laughs> on Netflix, I love the um, first uh, season. I, I really, really, the second season, second season wasn't that great, but to me, it wasn't. But I love the first season. I didn't like the whole, the only thing that bugged me was the emotional? whole the Emotional? The emotional yeah. Punisher? Yeah. I'm bringing yeah. a fucking wrist in the block wall. Yeah, yeah. I mean, he, he kind of had, and then they did the little Daredevil thing, and then I heard that he's possibly going to have back another thing. In the movies, so, yeah. The only emotion the Punisher those, deals you know. in is hatred and anger. He's anger for well, his this, wife and family. Yes. Dead. Yes. This one's intact, yeah, right? Vengeance. That one is. That one is. That's it needs to go grading. Uh, so you must so, three of them. I forgot yeah. you three of those. Are you yeah. going to grade this that's one? I'll get a higher yeah. grade on that for sure, right? Oh, yeah, yeah. That's, that's that one. Much, that I like this one. one. That's what I'm saying. Which one? It's down at pH. Or... You going to go CBCS or CGC on the other one? Uh, I don't know yet. I mean, I'm kind of in between. I think it's probably like that one. seven, uh, seven and a half, I like maybe. that one. Um, you know, and obviously coming from cards to It is a little bit brighter than the other one, too. It's definitely been a different challenge. So the big thing is color break when you're grading a comic book. 
And especially on this yeah, shelf. Yeah, and and right. Right. Well, well, there is no color break on the spine. That was right there. one little wear on that spine on that staple there. Sorry, I don't mean it. No, you're good. You're good. It's fun looking into this box. A one bottom corner, brother. That's it. Yeah. I mean, I think it's a great book. Yeah. It's clean. You know, I I love collecting these, and and basically most of my collection has came from cards. So I've swapped over from good, good, pretty good cards to to these really good books. Now. Right. And um, people will bring in their Pokemon and Magic collections next door. Yeah. Oh, you and do then, with and anything. Then, and then Gold, they can get silver, it over yeah. there. Cards, I mean, it's, 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 common. it's easily exchangeable. That's right. the biggest. Only store to do that. All this stuff is liquid cash in yeah. the side of all oh, these yeah. collectibles. So here's one that I did buy from you. Um, it was a little Love while ago. Book. If you remember this book. Um, Werewolf by Night, First Moon Night, um, you know, I mean, it's got a standing. I don't care. It, it's worth having. Right. Uh, it's for a collection of mine, and it's another book's going, hot as hell know. right now. Yeah. So once this gets on Disney Plus, I mean, this thing Moon is going to be going. Up. So if you have a couple of those extra, you know, um, number ones, first parents, second parents, third parents, they're they're pretty good. And they're doing more with the Bronze Age now. horror too. So Werewolf by Night, Ghost yeah. Rider, Damien Hellstorm, yeah. all that stuff. Right? And I got this. I want to say it was a year or so ago, and probably from you at one Not point. It's one of the yeah. items I got a collection posted on Facebook, and you hit me up right yeah, now. Yeah, you had missed like a couple. Remember? Oh, I missed so many from <laughs> yeah. you. But, getting, uh, I've, I've been <laughs> getting. Yeah, I've been messing. I was like, oh man, I got you know. There's people out there that get them pretty quick. So you know, it I'll is post it live. I mean, yeah, no, it is what it is. Bro, you're watching the streets, dude. You're keeping us safe, dog. So you can't always be looking on. Yeah, I mean, I would love. To, Yo, I, bad I, guys, I, stop! I gotta wait. buy this comic. So yeah. I gotta get a hold of James and all seats. Yeah. So if you're not following, <laughs> like, put that in my box. Follow, <laughs> yeah. yeah cause... Friend me, friend all seats. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Definitely. Follow. That's what a lot of people are like. They were like, "Oh, I didn't know you had that." Like the Hidden Fates when we got those in. Like, yeah. Follow the all seats gaming. Oh, yeah. Anyone's follow more than welcome seats. to me. Like me on my uh, uh, personal Facebook page too. James Farnsworth. I'll accept you as a friend. You can see what we get coming into the shop. I'm, yep. I'm totally we'll down. Share it all over. That. Yep, yep. So I, I basically went through, and then these are the last two books I just talked about. And um, basically, um, when I started collecting comics, I just wanted to get the Avengers was pretty hot at the time. I wanted everything just to have for my son to pr preserve. I have a two year old now, so yep. now I'm kind of like, okay, I you saw know, him say, in, maybe, I saw him in his Halloween. Costume, yeah, dude. so yeah, he has a little baby shark on, <laughs> but but <laughs> basically, you know, a lot of it is like, hey, someday maybe he'll appreciate it. Maybe he won't. I mean, it is what it is. Um, Either figured, way, that's a good excuse yeah. for you to use with the wife. So. Oh yeah, so <laughs> that's all, it's for the kid. Yeah, so that's the biggest. I hear that thing one all the time. It's a great. Yeah, thing. I mean, that's a lot of times uh, when we're collecting. It's just like, hey man, that's a four hundred dollar comic. It's like we're five hundred. Well, you know, college. this one time, yeah. I mean, hey, you know, they'll invest. Send our kid through college. And, and, right. college. and like I said, man, comics. You know, the oh, movie bro. can go. It can go. In the ten know, years or so you've been coming in, dude, yeah. comics have gone up. A yeah, we're to a thousand percent. We're buying, you know, one eighty ones from you for like three fifty. Yeah, yeah. And now. Yeah, put it on the zero. And they were like five fives. Can't even get one for three fifty. Yeah. You put know, I mean, yeah, order. find a find a one eighty one for three fifty right. right now. I mean, yeah, um, yeah. So as a detached cover. <laughs> yeah, no, I mean, no. even then you probably get Yeah, shit. even now, yeah. dude, yeah. That would probably still eBay. be a steal, so. That book is so hyped up, too, Oh, dude. yeah, this oh. book is awesome. It's it, So this is my Captain America 100. Um, I love the cover, classic yep. cover. Um, really, really this great. Book, whoops, this book is a top 20 in comic books. Yeah, I mean, it's street. just it's just really, really a Jack classic Kirby, cover. Jack Kirby, Kirby famous. Um, got it through CBCS, same thing, through one of the shows. Um, just been keeping it. It's just really, really nice to have one of those kind of books. Jack Kirby, dude. I like the theme of Captain America and Punisher for you, bro. Oh, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I mean, I, I, I'm more I get, of a Punisher, I see, dude. So, I, I, I mean, I like Black, Black Panther a lot, too. He's pretty sweet. But um, the only one comic uh, collector or the comic book person that I, I'm kind of like Namor. You know, yeah. like submariner and stuff. They were cool. Of, you know, for me, I was dated really, now. They yeah. got to do some clothes, like an yeah. outfit and shit. And I think and that they kind them, of, the Aquaman you know. movie that, kept, that came out, I, I don't know if like that's going to work later on, but we'll see. Maybe when Black Panther, though. When you know, Aquaman Total is a straight rip off of Namor, though. Yeah. But, but who knows that, though? You know what I mean? But yeah. Don't and and I, I've heard that they might introduce him in the next Black Panther movie, but. We'll well, see. If they bring in Doom, because so Doom gets Namor to team up with him and be like, hey, your people have been wronged in the world the gotcha. whole time. So he tricks the Atlanteans yeah, and Namor. It's a great way to introduce the Fantastic Four into the movie universe. Yeah. Doctor Doom, the best villain in comic books in the Marvel universe. Yeah. And we'll really yeah. I like him. Influential, tyrannic, great minded. I like him. Yeah. So I'll do my last book. Um, I got a few of these, but this is just my 8 0 copy. This is my first Miles Morales. Um, real big fan of Spider Verse. You were all over uh, this. I've been collecting Spider Verse probably once it started came out. Um, yeah. I've been trying to get as many of these books as I can. I love the idea of it. 
Um, Spider Verse was a great hit. I was watching it right when I told you. I said, "Man, this is a great movie." Um, it was a great. Movie. It was a great it, it was, movie. You, know, you kept was, telling me, and I didn't watch it. And, and we're gonna I get number two in twenty twenty two. It's ridiculous. I'm just saying. So, well, long gap. well, yeah. It takes four years for them to make the movie, so that it's gonna take another four it's for all the digital animation that it was on point. Dude. It, it's a lot of work that yeah. goes into the movies. I love the um, Kingpin in it, dude. He was oh great. yeah, was awesome. I mean, it was a good movie from start to finish. It's one of probably my favorite Spider-Man. It's the movies. second best Spider-Man movie, hands. Down. That's yeah. To me, that. it, do you think we're gonna get Ghost Spider out of that now? Um, Spider Gwen. Uh, I think so. Back and which forth. is uh, Spider Gwen number twenty four. Uh, it's a great cover too. Um, if you, if you guys get those, those are really great to hang on. So, um, pretty much anything uh, right now with Spider Verse, I'm trying to pick up. Uh, Cindy Moon with the uh, um, what is it? Uh, what's her name? The 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 Korean girl that's bit by a spider. Silk Penny. Silk. Oh, silk. Okay, so good. I got a bunch of those. I'm picking up. I see that um, Spider Man Black four? Cat up there. Really? So the the I female. Just got that. So I might I might pick that up tonight. So I kind of look at Black Cat. Yeah. So yeah, so Black Cat, any kind of the females, Gwen Stacy, um, you know, anything Gwenpool, anything. Silver that's Sable. Kind of Silver Sable. I've got a you know I've been right. looking With at that. Jamie, any, Jamie, I mean, yeah, that basically the movie can just expand as far as it wants to go right. at this yeah. because it's animated. It doesn't have to have to. Well, and it's a great way to get females in a comp. There's a lot of female characters oh, too. Yeah. Relatable characters. My, yeah. Miles Morales. Uh, yeah. Out of just you know nerdy white guys, there's other people. Uh, oh yeah, and it's. I think for my personal opinion, it's going to be the young kids. Right. New Spider-Man. Um, I like it. A I like, bit and I like it. It's yeah, a lot acceptable. of younger kids like. Miles it's not. Over it's not Peter. changing Peter Parker. Right. Yeah. You're making a different person. And it's. I think the idea. Yeah. changing peter parker bro. well and it Mike introduces Miles. it introduces like hey you can have multiple spider yeah you can have it peter. doesn't matter it doesn't always have to be that one spider-man it can blonde be spider it didn't make peter that peter parker and spider-verse suck though yeah that mopey ass one that, oh the one with oh, peter the, b parker yeah the one yeah, 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 yeah. spider-man yeah we didn't need to do that no peter parker's not mopey man he that's, died, a, that guy that's like a real him. life spider he's though he is the comics have taught us it's a comic book bro we don't need real life in comic books. It's you know, a fucking yeah, comic book. Uh, you know what I mean? So I don't know how much time we have left, but like no, this you is, got this. Good. We're at we got another ten minutes. Okay, yeah, so if you want to talk, so about here, y'all, yeah. So yeah, this is my last card. I got a Von Miller uh, autographed. Oh. Uh, I guess it's uh, one of those paninis. Three, three color patch. It's yeah, impeccable. Man. It's the last one. I, I don't think I sold it to Anthony, and I accidentally found it in a box in one of my. <laughs> well, we sold this. To I was me. like, oh, oh man, this yeah, no, you know, we'll I worked itself for that yeah. uh, comic yeah. interest. Yeah. In <laughs> so yeah, we, we'll probably <laughs> right. work. Something Deals are always happening here. <laughs> yeah, right. I mean, right during a podcast. <laughs> yeah, we'll we're straight. live. <laughs> uh, one of the other ones that I got that I really love. I'm a big Rick and Morty fan. You know, I mean, like. Cop guy, military guy, love Rick and Morty. That's funny you like that. First dude. Rick and Morty, San Diego. You were Comic always over Rick and Morty too, though. Man, buddy. I was collecting Rick, Rick and Morty pretty off. hard. It's um, money. It's coming out soon. Next season's coming out. They got ten more seasons after. You got this. the sketch cards from Jason. Uh, I thought they were stopping at three. No, no, no. <laughs> they they signed a deal. They have ten right. more seasons coming out, so it's going to be on till. I like how the creator's pretty <laughs> free minded though, dude. He doesn't take no bullshit. Oh man, yeah. Yeah. They, they, well, he makes fun of everything else, and he doesn't like any like. He's like the South Park guy. Yeah, like Train Man. Yes, right. Make fun of me. Or my so, judge, yeah, yeah. I mean, this, this, this was one of the books I had to go grab. I got, I think I got it from eBay or something. But I did it, the CBCS. Got eight on it, no big deal. Um, big Rick and Morty fan. Um, just had to have it. Um, can't wait for the next season to come out. So I will say, I heard CBCS is a little stricter than CGC anymore. So the reason why you kind of got me to CBCS is because I came from cards. Right. And so, Beckett, I like yeah, the Beckett, Beckett name too. Beckett right. is like something. So from my, you know, from my perspective, Beckett grading. And CBCS was like, well, you know, that makes sense. Well, right. CGC just does comics. And what I was going to talk about, too, is like on that on that Punisher that I have or we were showing you uh, earlier is like the, the picture is cut off. So I want to say it's... Uh, You're out of that one? Uh, no, the on, 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 no, no, so the raw one. So like on the, on the top there, the top right, yeah. you okay. could see like the... Um, so uh, it's miscut. Okay. Yeah. And you would get dinged on that on a you, card, but on a comic, they don't really ding you for centering or whatnot right, yeah. because the so comics are totally what different. What caused that is the off staple from that top staple to that bottom mm -hmm. staple. And so that's what kind of shifted it. Yeah, so when it rolled off the press, 
Yeah. It just came out. That but way. you don't get dinged for that in comics, so I'm kind of like, that's cool I think, me. I mean, I think CBCS is trying to employ all oh, this sure. They might be. Standard. And if they do, that's going to make their grading so much harder. Right. And it's they're going to make it, they're going to make CGC kind of antiquated oh, in yeah. my theory of thinking too. I'm the only thing I think CGC's got on them right now is they have the cool little, uh, like you can get the little animated thing on there, like, you know, Spider-Man or something. You pay an extra they got the They got like, they got the name recognition. Yeah. They, they got the eBay completed sales. Yeah. They got. And and the little the cover just looks a little bit better right. in my opinion when i'm posting it and putting it in my house on my wall it kind of looks a little bit clearer the, yeah the cbcs label looks like the old cgc yeah label, right yeah yep, yep. so that's this kind of you know just certain little little differences there um and then yeah i mean oh, so yeah that's a huge book carol carol danvers um yeah As i Captain picked Marvel. that up yeah picked that up a while back huge um, book uh that what's that sell for in that nine two now 500 bucks this you is know, a cool book. Hold on, yeah. bring that book. I want to talk about that book real quick. Because yeah. that book's only five years Sorry, old. I like going through his books. I know. Yeah. Sorry. <laughs> it's cool. No, this <laughs> book's cool. First, this first Carol, Carol Danvers, this came out in 2012. Yeah. So, Spider-Man 9. Uh, in a 9.2, this book came out, what, seven years ago? Yeah, it's worth 500 bucks in yeah, this grade? it probably wasn't. I think I got it for like 100 I think it's four to five hundred bucks. I'm yeah. looking on eBay right yeah. now. Yeah, I mean it, it's pretty sweet. Um, Nine you know, years old, you guys. That's yeah. what I'm telling you. Just go spec. You know what you're buying. Yep. A lot of money to be made in collectibles. I'm yeah. telling you. That's, yeah, especially that's a perfect example of you it know. Right there. People probably saw this on the shelf and just like it was a weekly. You know, came out on a, a Wednesday or whatever or not, and probably sat there forever. And Nobody really sudden, thought anything of it. She gets in a movie and movie. Now yep. we're now we're back in. So what um, else? Was that next book was really cool, Chris. So the Doctor Strange, yeah. So first Ch Doctor Strange is you know solo. End of Strange Tales yep. going into first Doctor solo Strange. Doctor Strange. Yeah. So it is Doctor Strange um, number one, but it's actually Strange Tales one sixty nine. So they yeah. kept the numbering, mm -hmm. which Marvel used to care right. about it. The right, they the don't numbers. anymore, but yeah. they used to. Yeah. But see, like the cover <laughs> itself is just this so covers awesome. I mean, it's I just covers awesome. School, it's cool. Well, they need four digits right now. Steve Ditko. Yeah. So you you have great art choices. Yeah, I mean, you got McFarlane here. You got Ramirez. Yeah, you got Ditko. Yeah, it was awesome. Right. Like and, and a lot Origin of times, a Doctor Strange, and a lot of times too, it's for like a new guy. Like I'm looking at covers, right. I'm looking at things. I'm not always reading all the books. I can't read every single one. Um, I do watch a lot of YouTube on what the book looks like. You know, Vision right here, another iconic classic yeah. cover. Um, just had to pick it up because you know I love the movies. So first appearances in like where we don't care about the grades, just like getting a rookie card. Sometimes all yeah. fame rookie card. Yeah, even the low grades still work. Sometimes you just gotta grab it. You Here's know? first appearance. Yeah, of Silk. Yep. Silk right there. I got four copies, and she's. I mean, I'm half Korean, so she's a half our Korean American. So I'm like, eh, I had to grab her up, and I think she'll be in the next movie. Marvel's pushing that lately too. More Asian. More oh yeah. Asian, more they're gonna, they're gonna, yeah. Exactly. Yeah. The Shang Chi, whatever, is yeah, gonna yeah. be coming yeah. out. So we got a lot of Asian. The, the, Atlas books, what's the name? Um, the new Rise of Atlas. Oh, um, Atlantis. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, what's his name? He's another new Asian superhero. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The new Agents of Atlas. Yes, thank you. Yeah, Swordmaster. And they're doing that new Fallen. Uh, the, Which is sweet, dude. Yeah, That's they're doing like a whole, whole new line of A whole other stuff. genre they need to touch on. It's a Kung Fu genre. This one's cool. First appearance of Scott Lang as Ant-Man. That is very cool. I haven't seen that book in a long time. Yeah, hang on. Check that out. It's awesome. I uh, awesome. he's got some cool stuff. Scott Lang, also yeah. known as Paul Rudd. So I uh, did you get a proof for uh, third movie. Nice. We didn't get that bumper for that podcast, so from Paul Rudd. No, he would. He was not talking to any press. <laughs> yeah, oh, but it. unlike Loki, uh, Tom Middlestat, you did not need to go through a secondary metal detector to see him. Oh. But you did have to pay. It was like a couple hundred bucks or whatever. Jeez. Uh, and for there was no. Up? Yeah, there was no. You could not be in line and wait. The however mm -hmm. many hours to go say Hall Ride. Oh, of course. Hall Ride dressed Hi. up as Weird okay. Al for Halloween, and it was amazing. <laughs> Took his kid trick or treating. His kid was dressed up as the Wasp. He dressed up as Weird Al. That's really cool. cool. That was great. <laughs> you and your Weird Al. Well, <laughs> I you love know, Weird Al. You know, Weird Al. Hey, shut up, old Weird Al. As far as like new guys go, like I still I still watch every week just to see what's coming out. Um, I keep up. I mean, obviously, there's a lot of books, so you got to pick what you want. Right. Um, Donny Cates, really great writer. He's freaking on fire. A lot of his stuff is just, Johnny Cates, you know, Hickman, those are just... Those guys are really, really, really big. Um, you know, first appearance, Noel, guy signed by him. That's uh, this sick, is dude. I love San that San Diego cover. Comic Con. That cover's sick. 9-8 um, on that. And then I got Noel with Donny Cates signed on it. Um, yeah, it's pretty sweet. Gotcha. Yeah, so, same thing. Signed it. Um, first Noel. I think he's going to be a big character eventually. 
Um, well, they've been working to that, right? The Venom guy. Yeah, know? I mean, it, it just depends. We'll see what happens with the Venom movies. Um, you know, they got to they got to go to the origin somewhere, right? So I think yeah, if it does, not, not in that movie. movie. Well, yeah. <laughs> I mean, they're gonna. There, well, hopefully, there will something be a, happens with Woody Harrelson. In there that will movie. be a whole other movie that has nothing to do with that movie that mm-hmm. will be part of the MCU universe some way, somehow, eventually. Yeah. But the new movies out right now, mm-hmm. yeah, no relation. No Tom Hardy. Another classic McFarlane cover, yeah, right here. Love that cover. Covers. Yeah, is that Grey Hulk? Uh, yeah, yeah, that was your top McFarlane Grey Hulk or whatever he yeah. was doing. Grey Hulk, my me. favorite Hulk. Mm-hmm. First uh, Wolverine Hulk fight after since one eighty one. Yeah, is in that book, which is great. I had an we hadn't seen it again. We want to see it yeah. again. Yeah. The two undestructible forces hitting each other yeah. is also great. <laughs> Can't kill either one of them. And I think I think that's pretty much all I got right now. I mean, um, yeah. Uh, first it's a, cool, first it's a really cool box. We yeah. think we showed everything cool in it. Yeah, I mean, pretty much. Yeah, I mean, the last one. Well, there's, the there's some duplicates. Existed. There's some yeah. duplicates. I got a couple. It's got a nice uh, ungraded. Yeah, it's first oh. Venom right here. Oh yeah. yeah. Maze Spider Man. We bought one of those yeah. today. I still have a great book. So you got direct sales and newsstand editions yeah. of both. And I mean, pretty nice shape. This is probably my best Rick and Morty signed by Justin Rowland, the guy that. And did you guys sell those, Justin Rowland, the the, the, um, the cards of Crypto Zero? Yes, yeah, yeah. The so, yeah. Isn't that so Justin Rowland signed this one right here, the voice of both Rick and Morty. So okay. pretty sweet, just That's to cool. have. Does um, he have some cool piece for a collection the writing, if you like Rick and Morty? Morty? No, but he. So the best, the best Rick and Morty is the one I think out of like five hundred okay. that he drew the cover for. All right, and that's the one that goes for like a thousand. That's why I know. That's okay. the one you want. Um, right. But yeah, he does the voices for him. Pretty cool book. Um, just hey, you need to grade this three hundred too. Bro. <laughs> yeah, yeah that's that's nice. this is the newstand yeah. too, my friend. Yeah, so three hundred is nice. About so that one also. if you didn't know, the newstand edition it has the barcode on it. The comic book, sh- the comic book shop version would have the Spider-Man logo in it, or mm-hmm. the Marvel logo. I believe is Spider-Man yeah, logo. Yeah, yeah, it's Spider-Man. And uh, the direct sales is way harder to get than the yeah, comic book version. Yeah. So it's if anyways, it's so cool. Yeah. Oh. Carnage awesome, born. brother. And cool. uh, hey, man, one last thing. What? Why do you love collecting, my friend? So you know, I mean, pretty much, like I said, like. Um, for everybody, it has a different reason, but um, mm-hmm. you know, my dad brought me into the comic, you know, card card collecting world. Uh, would take me to the store every once in a while and say, "Hey, you know, I'm just gonna get a couple couple packs for you." That's how it all started. Right. On. Um, started putting those into binders, or whatever. Started talking to my friends. Pretty much, that's the reason why I still collect. And a lot of it now is just to remember, like preserve. Oh, we came from 1975. Oh, I can't go back to 1975 anymore. I remember that kid, possibly me or whatever. Like, hey, I remember that book when it came out. I remember when it came off the shelf, and I still have that and preserve it. We can't take it when we leave, but it's always cool to preserve mm-hmm. Right, and so look good. at this stuff. We're blessed every day we get to come mm-hmm. to this place, and whatever's going on in the outside world, I get to come yeah. and look at a Spider-Man 300 cover, yeah. you know what I mean? So, yeah, and it's just cool to remember awesome. all those types of things. So that's that's the reason why I collect. Absolutely, and, I yeah. get it. I mean, yeah. I, I think for people that aren't into collecting, you can get into it, and you'll get more of an attachment as it's mm-hmm. personal to you. It's something I would definitely suggest to everybody. Get you out of the madness of this world we live in yeah. sometimes. So just find something that you like. Anything yeah, you can anything. collect anything. Just yeah. something that makes you happy. Right, right. It right. Doesn't have to be comics, it doesn't have to be cars, just something you like. Absolutely. Mm-hmm. All right, brother. Thank right. you so much. Yep. Appreciate, appreciate you guys. Too, thank Everybody you, Donald. You yep. time. Appreciate it, bro. Everybody right, out there, thank you for listening. Thanks for watching us live. Comment, share, follow us, please. Peace. Let us know what we can do. Later on. Good night.